The Nuage system consists of three major components. The hardware controllers, the audio system with analog and digital interfaces, the Dante accelerator card and the Dante audio network, and of course Nuendo at its core. There are two control surfaces, the fader unit and the master unit. Each one can be used by itself in a smaller system or they can be combined together to create larger systems. The largest configuration consists of three fader units and one master unit. Let's take a look at the fader unit. Now the main concept here is the large display showing the extended channel view. 24 inch monitors are placed behind the fader unit, they're the same width, and the channel strip extends graphically up onto the monitor. Now every parameter for each channel can be displayed on the screen in addition to metering, which can either be peak meters or the acclaimed Nuendo wave meters. There are two rows of encoders at the top here that are mapped to parameters that are displayed on the screen above in what we call the label pane. They display the parameter and show the values as we adjust them. The knob set will also control third-party VST plugins when used on a Nuendo insert. When editing the plugin, the GUI will be displayed on the screen and all the parameters will be mapped to knobs below. All 16 channels can be displayed on the screen at once, or you can focus on a single channel and have all 32 encoders available for just that channel. Additionally, you can focus on two channels simultaneously and have 16 encoders available for that channel and 16 encoders available for that channel. Besides the usual bank and channel nudging features, the Nuage Fader unit features a touch slider which allows you to scroll through channels simply by sliding back and forth. And this can help you navigate through large projects quickly. Together with color coding of channels, which you can set in Nuendo, and track naming, the navigation method is extremely fast. For example, if you know that your Foley tracks are color coded green, simply use the touch slider to swipe through the channel until green appears and you know you found your Foley tracks. To make track management even easier, there are features for track visibility and organization, which will be covered in more detail during the fader tutorial. With Nuage, you can control up to three different workstations using the DAW switches on each controller. Now, if you have more than one controller, each unit can operate a different workstation, or they can be combined together in sync with the unit link feature and all switch together. Here at the bottom, you find the 16 motorized faders. Now, normally they control the channel volume, but they can also operate any parameter that the knob set can control using the flip mode. That's a brief overview of the fader unit's capabilities. These features will be covered in more detail in other tutorials. Let's take a look at the master unit. Now, the master unit can be used by itself when faders are not necessary. For example, in a small edit or voice recording room. It features comprehensive hardware editing with a full-featured master console section for monitoring, source selection, and much, much more. Together, these features allow you to break away from the keyboard and mouse-based editing style and move into very fast hardware-based editing. The Nuendo control room is unrivaled by any other DAW, and now with the master unit, you have complete access to all the control room features, including speaker selection, monitor sources, cues, stems, and even external inputs. Full surround setup control with metering is available on the touchscreen. It features a built-in talkback microphone and a headphone amp with stereo inputs for the control room's headphone feed. The master unit is centered around the transport. Now apart from the standard transport controls, there's also a very high quality jog wheel. Engineers and editors will love the ballistics and feel of this jog wheel. And for audio engineers used to working on old Fairlight or audiophile systems, the workflow will be familiar, since the jog wheel is also used to edit audio files, trimming, fading, moving, and even adjusting the clip volume of events. Events can be selected directly from the surface, and range selections can be drawn using the jog wheel. There's also a numeric pad which allows locating to markers, tracks, and even timecode positions.
The unit provides comprehensive access to the automation system, and the touchscreen displays a complete overview of the automation state and available options. The touchscreen accesses menus for all major sections of the master unit. It also offers complete access to all settings for a Nuendo channel, including filters, dynamics, the sends, cues, pan control, and the inserts. And finally, for those who need custom control, there are 14 user-definable function buttons on the surface, 12 in the user-definable area, and two in the comm section. And also, there are 204 assignable function buttons on the touch screen in various layers. Everything is mappable from standard key commands to custom design macros and even batch processing. That's a general overview of the Nuage system as a whole. Other tutorials will cover each area in more detail.